Right. Right, I just thought I would do a... Well, I'm not very good at doing videos. Um, I'd like to be, but... Oh, well. So I just thought I'd do sort of a build video of my twin cylinder Suffolk engine. A real one this time. <laughs> well, I say this time. A real one as opposed to the fake that's on the on YouTube. Um, this, this progress so far. Just check I've got frame. Yeah, just about. What we've got. This lot basically, I took two running order ish um, Suffolk engines, stripped them both down, and started to look at the best way of joining them. I was planning to weld, but I'd have had to pay somebody to do it because welding cast is a. Am I in the frame? Hmm, not really. Welding cast is a bit of a pig of a job to do. Um, so I, I looked at mechanical means of joining together and I thought about it and these four bolt holes that normally hold the magneto backplate on I thought I could do something with them to try and link them using those what I've done is taken standard Suffolk block on the back a standard block looks something like that this one I've machined all that away so we have the same diameter as on the front. The idea will then be um, to drill there, there and there and put screws through to join it up to this block. Unfortunately I can't get a screw in between there and there. There's just not enough space on the inside. We are still in frame. <laughs> but if you try and join the two blocks up, they foul slightly. Could have ground the fins away, but I didn't like that idea. So, turned up a small aluminium spacer ring that will just fit between there. Hopefully that will keep it all in line fairly well, but I've got another means of keeping it, well, just, just to help keep it in line. The standard stuff uses a small, I don't know what it is, rod, just to hold the camshaft in place. And it just pushes through and sits up against the stop one end. I've reamed these holes out to 3 8 inch, which is what, what diamond and shaft is, but just to remove the stops and everything. And I'll be using a 3 8 inch silver steel, go right the way through both engines. Just hopefully just give it you know, a little bit of rigidity. The ends of these will then be drilled and tapped M5 and a socket head cap screw and washer go on each end. Um, uh, some on this won't be linked as yet. It's a possibility in the future. For the moment, just to make sure the oil levels are the same, I'd be getting I'm not sure what it is, possibly quarter inch BSP, just a 90 degree bend, 90 degree bend, and a T piece. You can actually see that roughly. Just join those two and still give me a oil drain, it'll just allow the oil levels to balance out. Other than that, there's nothing special about the sumps. Uh, like I said, the blocks. Yeah, that's all. I mentioned all that. Next difficult bit was joining the crankshaft. So I wasn't looking forward to this. I had thought about welding them, but again, I, I, that's just a little bit hit and miss and getting it straightened up afterwards. So what I did is I cut cut the crankshaft down to length, taking a correct bit off each one. <laughs> Uh, faced them off on the lathe and then turned this steel spacer ring. The crankshaft meet on the inside of this and it, it's not a press fit because trying to press it together would have been a pain in the backside. It's a fairly tight uh, transition fit. 
So I just press in there with a little bit of force, lock tight it in place, and then a pin through each just to hold it in place. Pins are welded in just to stop them coming out. So that would make some funny old noises. What else has been done? Um, Magneto, I was originally planning to make this a 360 degree twin. So have both if so have both pistons at TDC at the same time. That has a couple of little issues. Um, mostly through vibration. A 180 degree twin like this, one up, one down, is apparently a lot more well a lot smoother and um, the other problem, the reason I was originally going to go 180, uh, 360 degree twin is so I could use the single coil, original Suffolk coil, and then just use a distributor to send the wasted spark to the second cylinder, which would have worked, but I'd have had to build up a distributor of some kind, which is just a bit of a bit of a pain, really. Um, job I could do without. But I, I didn't really want an external coil, which is why I was originally going to go for 360-degree twin. But then I looked around through my pile of spare parts, and I realised that I could actually fit two of the Suffolk electronic ignition units on the same magneto backplate. In fact, that was, that was a very easy job to do. And I'll, I'll just get something. This is the standard um, electronic ignition magneto bracket the coil just mounts something like that two holes there but it's also got this this protrusion here that I thought I could just drill and rivet a second coil onto just measured it all up lined them up perfectly and riveted the two coils onto the same back plate 180 degrees apart which hopefully everything will be Correct, all clears the flywheel and everything. Just got to fit a longer HT lead onto this one because it's a bit short to do anything with at the moment. That's that one. What else are we gonna be doing? Um, hmm. Exhausts, I'm not sure on yet. I will probably. The problem is the pipe works a bit expensive. Um, I will hopefully be linking these two up into a single exhaust silencer somewhere up here. Um, but it may just be two standard Suffolk exhausts for the moment because I've got them in stock somewhere. Just to keep costs down and then put the single exhaust on when I can afford to. That will more than likely be just a straight pipe or something like that. Make it sound a bit nice. Um, carbs, I'm not sure. I was planning to make a manifold and run twin carbs but so that they're nicely balanced. At the moment that's just looking a little bit difficult. I'm not sure where I'll get all the pipe work bent and everything. I'm, I'm lucky with all the machining because I'm currently on a machining course at college so <laughs> I can slip a few jobs in but actually getting the manifold for the carbs built up so it may just be two individual carbs and the throttle linkages linked um, unless I can even make up a manifold to keep the carbs not I, sp I suppose what I could do is just put a thin rubber pipe just to help keep them a little bit more balanced um, other than that what else has been going on the cowlings cut and welded together and they're currently just being painted I'm not too happy with it. Some of the body filler hasn't come out quite as well as I'd hoped for. But I decided I'm going to treat that as a repair job rather than... So I'll get it all painted, get it all running, because I can't be bothered with that at the moment. And then later on I'll uh, just get a little bit of knifing, partly stop the... just for thin blemishes, and give that a spray over that. That's all coming on nicely. <laughs> uh, other than that, air filters are just in primer. Old starter is here, so, uh, over there. 
that's all being cleaned up. That will all be left back, bare alley, along with the magneto backplate and sumps. The blocks will be painted in high temperature black, hopefully. If somebody can give me some advice on cleaning out between the fins and everything, because that looks like a pain of a job. Other than that, that's all the progress at the moment. I'm Next job to do is to drill the holes in the front block to mount it all, bolt the crankcases together. Unfortunately, I made a little bit of an error with the crank length. It was supposed to be about 0.2 too long for the blocks so that I could allow for spaces for gaskets around the, around the holes. Somehow it's ended up almost 2 mil too long, so I will just have to take a little little bit off the front there. But that's no big issue on the lathe. After that, most of the machining work is done, so I can start looking at building a base up. It'll probably be a couple of months, because money's a bit tight at the moment, and I want to do it properly, buy all new gaskets and everything. So, maybe a little while before it actually runs. Other than that, that's about it for the moment. Nice tidy back garden, <laughs> just how I like it. Right, thanks for watching.